Hello and welcome. This is Out Motorsports. My name is Tyler, and today we are driving the 2022 BMW M4 manual. For better or for worse, this car has been the center of attention all over the internet, not necessarily for its engineering, but more so for its looks. I personally like to focus on the positive things in life, so we're going to focus on the main really good thing about this car and its M3 counterpart, the fact that they're still offered with a manual transmission and three pedals. Audi hasn't offered a manual transmission since the 2019 Audi A4. Ever since then, they stopped, and Mercedes hasn't in quite some time. So if you want a brand new German performance car with three pedals, the M4 and the M3 are your only options right now. Starting off in the M4 manual, this car has 473 horsepower, 403 pound-feet of torque, and it goes 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds, actually thanks to the manual and not the automatic. The automatic car is faster, however, you don't get the joy of actually rowing your own gears. And I will say, this manual is a really good BMW manual. In typical BMW fashion, it's a little bit rubbery, but still very notchy taking it through the mountains feels like your predictable BMW. It feels balanced. The steering feel isn't all there, like to be completely honest with you. Um, it still feels a little bit numb in the front end, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't change direction willingly, and it doesn't mean that the chassis itself isn't set up well. The steering feel, I actually feel like, is a little bit less than, like, the Alpina B8 that I was just in before this. The car definitely feels lighter on its feet, and you definitely feel more uh, connected to the road through the tires and through the chassis itself. You can tell this is a very stiff chassis. So as far as this engine is concerned, uh, it is a turbocharged engine, but it doesn't really behave like your typical BMW tur turbocharged engine does. I drove here in a B58 powered car, a, a two series, an M240i, and the B58s are really good like around town engines. They have really good mid-range torque, um, but when you rev them out, They'll still make power to red line, but they still feel like a turbo engine. This car feels a little bit more like a naturally aspirated old school BMW engine, where like when you rev it out and take it all the way up to red line, it just, it literally sings all the way to red line and it doesn't, you don't feel boost build, you don't feel the extra pops and burbles or crackles, like all the theatrics aren't there and it's a motorsport engine. And I got that same vibe when I drove this last year in the X3M competition as opposed to the X3M40i. I think the M performance versions of every car is a great street car and it has more personality going around the street than the actual M cars do. However, when it comes to revving an engine out, making the most of a car and actually using it in a high performance situation, these M cars do their job very well. Overall, I think this is still a really solid car. You get uh, a really good base suspension in this base car. The transmission uh, brings character to this car that I haven't felt all day in all of these other automatic cars. Um, just by the nature of, of interacting with the car and shifting the gears ourselves. So while we would love some more time with this car, hopefully in the future we'll get a week with it. Um, our overall first impressions on this M4 Coupe um, manual have been pretty fun, pretty positive. Um, just like every other BMW, you can get in this thing and drive it and go without thinking twice. Um, and it becomes second nature, which I guess is the biggest compliment you can give to any high performance driving car, um, specifically a uh, driving machine that is a BMW. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.